When it comes to treating cancer or, or, uh, or even prevention, how important is the patient's uh, immune system? Definitely. That is basic. I mean, a person who does, whose immune system is not in good shape will be a very, very easy target for diseases, mm -hmm. degenerative problems, and so on. Mm -hmm. So it's fundamental in, in any treatment protocol you know, to make sure that the patient's immune system is addressed properly. Mm -hmm. Do a lot of conventional treatments damage that? And how, how tough is it then to, to treat someone that has gone through that? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, chemo, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, we, it, it, they do have a beneficial effect initially, but unfortunately damage a lot of normal cells and the immune system is severely compromised in a lot of, in a lot of the protocols, which eventually in the long run, uh, some years later, it may uh, cause you know, other types of cancers. It is also known, for example, that tumors that are treated initially, and supposedly the person is in remission or cured in, in several years, cancer can, can reoccur and it, be, it can become more aggressive than it, in its original forms. So it's, like I said, it's, it's very difficult really to treat. Uh, it's just too simplistic an idea that that just chemotherapy and or radiation and surgery will cure a person. The majority of, in, in, in cure is a very deceiving word in, in cancer right. in the first place. So we try to, we try to, to, re, uh, to get a person into remission. In this event, there are two ways of understanding it. Uh, in the strictly oncological point of view, remission is the cessation of cancer activity in the, in the absence of lesions, tumors. Mm -hmm. In our practice, for example, we have patients that that's have tumors still in their bodies, inactive for 10, 15 years later. So is that a remission or it's not? Who knows, you know, but the patient lives a normal, qual a normal life, both in quantity, hopefully, and, and quality, definitely. <laughs>